Hello again and welcome to another video from the Marketing Study Guide. In this video we're going to have a look at what's known as the lexicographic decision rule that we find in consumer behaviour. To work out where this fits in, you've probably seen this before, this is the buyer decision process uh, where the consumer recognises they have a need for a product, they gather some information either internally or externally, and then once they have all this information before they make their purchase, they have to choose through between the various alternatives. So how do they do that? They use what's called the decision rule. And there are variations of decision rules. We have a more of an analytical one up there, a compensatory model, or a non-compensatory decision rule. And that's where Lexiographic fits in. Now keep in mind I have videos for each of these decision rules on YouTube, so please check them out. Now to make sense of it, we're going to use, this is a model we would use for a compensatory decision. But as we can see, we're going to pick between four hotels for a holiday. And we've listed our attributes here that are important to us. And we've actually ranked them in or scored them in order of importance out of 10. So we want something near the beach, in a big city, spacious rooms, etc. And then each hotel is then scored in our perception out of 10. So that something like 10 is perfect. A uh, score of three is, is pretty bad in our opinion. So we'll come back to this. But just to explain what the lexiographic rule is, it's probably the easiest rule uh, out of the decision rules in the consumer behavior list. Um, as I got there, it's a very simple rule. So simply we're looking for the, the brand or our product that best meets their most important attribute. So they pick what is the most important thing to me? What do I really want out of this? Forget about the five or six attributes I had on the, the previous table. What is the most important? I would simply pick the best brand. Okay, so we're going to use two examples. Consumer A wants to go to the hotel that is best for being close to the beach. They want to be right near the beach. And consumer B wants to be looked after, so they want the best hotel that has the best service levels. So which ones will they choose? Consumer A, near the beach, 10 out of 10. Far superior than these. Our, our Hotel C is our clear choice. And for consumer B, they want the best service levels. Unfortunately, we've got a 6 out of 10, and we've got a 6 out of 10, and they're the best, but they're equal best. So in the case of the Alexio graphic rule, whenever there's a tie, we then go to the second most important attribute. So consumer B now needs a second choice. So let's hypothetically say it's you know, a great swimming pool. And what we have here is something unusual. So I've ruled out this one's got 10 out of 10, but I've crossed it out. And the reason is off the most important one, which is service, is only A and only D. So they're the only two remaining. So I'm only choosing between those two now. A goes out because it's got a pretty dud uh, swimming pool. B is not considered because its service level is too low. And it was ruled out in the first most important thing to this consumer, and which means Hotel D is our choice. So tied equal first there, and was, was first in the swimming pool on their second uh, choice. So pretty simply, we should have a clear outcome of the lexiographic rule. We, we consider all brands. We use the, the rule to pick our most important attribute. Uh, usually we have one outcome, or we might have, a, in this case, we had two hotels left, and we simply repeat it two, three times, working down our list of important attributes, and we'll have a final choice. Okay, thanks for watching, and remember there are other videos covering all the decision rules in consumer behavior.